TWS is currently working with an organization called Stories Behind the Stars and we are currently in the process of trying to do some quality control on these profiles and make sure they're all complete and they all have the information that the story writers have put into the story. So to that end we have this huge spreadsheet and what it shows is the profile number, the name, who currently uh, owns the profile, what their service branch is, if they are a SPTS uh, writer or not, um, who the story writer actually is, and those that are unknown we're working with SBTS to identify whether it's complete or incomplete whether it's Pearl Harbor or um, Arlington National Cemetery and any notes that I have made on the profile itself um, as I go through and try to find the, the writers to the story what I am looking for is some wonderful volunteers to assist us in helping put the military spin on these profiles to make sure they are, they are accurate. A lot of the volunteers from Stories Behind the Stars are non-military. So, they, <coughs> excuse me, they would not know if a pro profile is correct with the right ribbons, with uh, the right rank, uh, MOS, NEC, well NECs they didn't have during World War II, but uh, you get the idea. So let's start with this one. And if you are not currently in Enhanced, which is this two-page presentation, uh, let me know and I'll get you there. It makes viewing and reviewing a profile a whole lot easier. So take the profile number, put it up here, click enter or that and it will bring you to the profile. And what we're looking for is the basics. Seaman first class, that all works. These would be the ribbons that they would have. Uh, his unit is added. The combat is added. Uh, associations um, automatically if they were uh, if they died on December 7th they would have this automatically added. Uh, if they were built by someone else this would necessarily wouldn't show up so that has to be added. Need the Arizona Memorial, World War II Fallen. If uh, they appear on the Navy Memorial page uh, website this can be added. If they appear on the Gold Star Registry, this can be added. Uh, World War II Memorial can be added. Uh, Stories Behind the Stars would add the chapter of where he was born, which is Washington State. And in this case, this is a story from the USS Arizona Mall Memorial. So that is added make sure all of the information, birth year, hometown, this one even has a last address which is wonderful, um, that cause is listed, and if uh, they are entombed in the Arizona they actually have this listed as where they're interred. One of the things that we need to remove uh, from a lot of the profiles that were created very early on on TWS are these two little things. 
this Arizona Memorial Medallion was given to survivors of Pearl Harbor. Uh, it would not have been given to somebody who, who had died there. Gold Star was given to the families of the fallen and not to the service member themselves, so this would also have to be removed. And you go through and you look at the story. Make sure that it is, uh, it looks nice, that the punctuation is right. If uh, it has any errors, please go in and fix it. Um, if not, um, then leave it as is. These all have wonderful links in them. The only thing it doesn't have is who wrote the story. Uh, so that would be something that you would put a note in on the spreadsheet. And once you have corrected it, you would go in and leave an admin note. Or leave an admin note of what you corrected, if anything. Um, and that it's corrected and click vetted and that actually locks it from being uh, edited by anyone and that means that it's done and it notifies anybody that's actually looking at these profiles that it has been viewed um, and somebody has looked at it and verified it so they can go on and work on something else and you would go back here to this section where it says Q8, put a little X. And let me get that centered so it looks a little better. Do, 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 that one. And then you would go on to the next one. It's actually pretty simple. There is just an awful lot of them. So we need uh, quite a few volunteers to assist. If you like doing this type of research and can lend us a hand, let me know at admin at togetherweserved.com and we will get you started. Thank you.